I became involved uh, with uh, conservation work and uh, through that uh, Dr. Wilson's Biodiversity Foundation, which I'm, I'm on the board of, because it was clear to me that, uh, that uh, mankind, human activity, was degrading uh, our Earth's resources at an alarmingly rapid rate and that we were losing species um, right and left, important species perhaps. Uh, in some cases we knew, in other cases we hadn't yet um, full knowledge of a species or an organism before it was lost. Um, it's my understanding that, that much, of, uh, much of our medicine, much of our food stuff that may be required in the, in the future will come uh, from these reserves of biodiversity which are rapidly disappearing. Um, and unless we have uh, fully um, uh, protected uh, uh, bio uh, systems, uh, we will not, we'll lose the potential to learn how nature works in, in, uh, in some very specific cases. And that nature, that uh, information may be critical in our understanding of how to manipulate uh, um, what is in our power to manipulate to, to save uh, biodiversity, save uh, the power of our planet to sustain life. The work itself has, is, as Dr. Wilson has said, is an educational effort to, to cause people to understand and to protect um, these reservoirs of biodiversity. I haven't so much changed uh, uh, my mind about how, how to accomplish these things. It, it is really the mission of, of uh, Dr. Wilson's foundation to bring understanding uh, to the broad population and uh, uh, young people who will uh, be making uh, important decisions in the future, and to current leaders, uh, both in the business community and in government, who can make policies which are more beneficial uh, to the preservation of, uh, of biodiversity. So I can't say specifically that, that, that his way of approaching biodiversity has changed uh, um, the way I think about it, except to say that Dr. Wilson has a, a great gift uh, for language, and he has made it uh, um, a very powerful, he's made a very powerful argument in favor of, uh, of living nature. And, uh, and I find uh, his argument, his persuasive um, uh, powers, um, have, uh, have led me to think about ways of presenting the problem uh, to other people. I make myself available for, uh, uh, to do on-camera um, um, public service announcements uh, and whatever I can do. Uh, it's, it, uh, and, uh, I've been approached, I was approached by the State Department, which is uh, responsible for uh, uh, animal trafficking in wild animal parts and uh, <coughs> wild animals, uh, to do a PSA, uh, a series of PSAs, which I was very happy to do. Um, <coughs> so that, that, that's just par that's part of, of, uh, of my commitment to the, uh, to the work of conservation. That's a very difficult question, and I don't know that I have a, a, an answer for it. Um, <clears throat> I think the basis of, uh, of acting is uh, empathy. I've always thought that, knowing how other people feel. And um, certainly one of the, one of the important judgments you can make uh, about a person is, is um, how they fit into their environment, into the world that, 
they live in specifically, whether they're a positive force or a negative force. Um, I've always uh, uh, loved the, the quiet and the solace of nature. I've been fascinated by the complication of nature. And um, in a way, I've found, um, I found that uh, although I was uh, uh, raised without a, uh, a formal religion, that I have, uh, I've found a, a um, ethical reality in nature and the preservation of it. And I think that informs uh, uh, me in every way. Well, I think the answer is that we uh, can't live well without living green. We've come to the point where uh, we have, um, we have uh, stretched our resources uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the point of failure. Um, we, uh, we haven't seen it coming with such, uh, uh, with uh, uh, enough uh, time uh, and so now it has reached uh, uh, the stage where, we, where we're recognizing it, uh, that we are in crisis, that uh, the effects of global warming, the effects of uh, the degradation of, uh, of the sea, the effects on the, on the future of, uh, for um, fresh water, all of those are um, very serious uh, um, problems which um, are begging uh, for a solution. Um, if we are not able to commit the resources and the energy and the, and the wisdom uh, that we do have to solving these problems, we'll likely um, disappear and the world will be a better place uh, uh, for it. The world will continue without human beings. It's, it's not a problem. Um, but to ensure a future for human beings, uh, hum for human beings, we've got to make uh, better use of our resources and manage uh, uh, a more sustainable lifestyle. Indiana Jones is a fictional character. Um, uh, I can't really think of him as a, an environmental hero or or anything outside of the context of the of the films in which he uh, in which he lives, uh, uh, I think that's the answer. I don't really think about uh, my work in uh, in acting as um, I don't I don't have an ambition for particular roles. I have an ambition to do good work with good people, tell stories that are compelling and emotional, and to engage my own ambitions uh, to do uh, uh, good uh, work. Um, that's, my, uh, that's my goal for my professional life. The only advice I've ever offered um, uh, young actors is, is to try and figure out how to do it um, for yourself. Never be caught uh, with, the, uh, with the idea that, uh, that you can imitate someone else's success. As much as you might admire what someone else does, don't try and imitate that. Find your own way. Find, what, find your own voice. Find your own feelings. And that will make, uh, will give you a unique opportunity. My first mentors were teachers and scoutmasters. And I think it had a lot to do with my, uh, it had a lot to do with my sense of the importance of nature. It had a lot to do with my, uh, 
my sense of, of what a, a true and just and useful man uh, is and its pretty fundamental, basic uh, human kindness expressed in a variety of different ways. Uh, and my professional mentors are, are well known. They are, uh, they are the wonderful directors uh, that I've had the uh, good luck to work with. Spielberg and Lucas and, and Sidney Pollack and uh, Alan Pakula and, um, and others uh, who have been very important to my professional life and to my personal life. Mm -hmm.